What is he still doing here? Huh? I thought I was very, very explicit with my instruction when I told you to send her home. Jonathan, please, I, I, I just wanted us to talk about it. Please. Really? Talk. All right. What do you want to talk about? See if she could. If she Please could. shut up! Did I by any chance give you an impression that this was open for discussion? Huh? I made a decision! And all you had to do was follow up through on my instruction. Please, she, she just wants to. And do I need to remind you how badly I feel about insubordination? She was meant to be on that early morning bus. Please, she, she, she could take the, the bus by 12 noon, please. It's not too late. Then make it happen. Now! <gasps> now get it. Okay. okay. Try to hide the abuse. What rubbish. Try to swallow. Oh, it eats me up inside. My desire is to be well, sir, I guess we are in agreement that all the steps that we've taken will prepare us for launching this um, product campaign. We have our challenges, okay? All of us. Now this brand has chosen us. Well, some who were selected all the same anyway. But if we get this right, if we get this right, we have a chance of being given other products to handle. Now our one-on-one -on -one communication platform will enable us to get authentic feedback with the kinds of products that should remain on the shelf or be taken away. I'm so sorry for coming in here. I'm so sorry, sir. Mona, I told you last week, I am a very patient man. But the time will come when I will. Sir, I am so sorry. Stop saying you are sorry. You can't go for words in when you like and leave when you want. Do you know how that makes me look? Sir, please, I am so sorry. Stop telling me you're sorry. Don't say that again. Edna and Lana are doing far better than you, 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 you and I are standing here. What's all this? Sir, sir, please, please forgive me. I promise never to do it again. I will ensure to put things in place henceforth. Please, I am so sorry. It won't happen again. She is your responsibility. You have to provide some. Manage your responsibility. The Thank pain you. I try to hide, the abuse I try to swallow. Oh, Thank you. Me in my office. My desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. And all I can imagine is walk on. You asked me to wait. Fix your face. I'm not ready to get there and answer any questions. But I already have makeup on. You don't look like you do, especially not that eye of yours. Did you even know what to get? I asked one of your female colleagues to get it. Okay. Make sure you give it back to me when you're done. Oh. Okay. Matthew, start the call. Can you ask your MD to assign somebody else to you already? 
You think I didn't already do that? Did she still come to work with black eye? She has one right now. Maybe I don't want to talk about Mona. All right, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Good to have you back home. So, I sit. I made your favorite native sit. <laughs> you do. Okay. You're welcome. Babe. Hmm? I want to tell you something. But before you respond, just hear me out, please. Okay. I know we have a policy of not living together. Babe, but please. Please. Please just hear me out first. Honey, I really love spending time with you. And I like it here. All I'm asking is for you to just let me stay for a week from time to time. No. Why do you keep saying no, though? Because I don't want to repeat the mistakes of my last relationship. I'm not your ex, for starters. Faber, I had a really annoying day. Can we please let this topic go? Hmm? Look, our policy is we don't spend more than 24 hours in each other's houses. No cohabiting for me. Yeah, but why? Because I want to save something for the actual marriage. Fine. My desire is to be happy Reality says otherwise All I can imagine Is walk on the street Side by side with you Breakfast in bed That's all I can imagine A love would be Walk on the street Side by side with you Breakfast in bed, that's all I can imagine a love would be. four times. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Anyways, MD wants you to work on this proposal. Now? 
Yes, Muna. Now. It, it's almost six and I need to start heading home. I suggest you don't tell him yourself. I've done my part. Taking the money I used to buy dinner for myself this night. You did mention you keep money in that bag over there from time to time, so I just knew where to look. But I keep this money over there for emergencies. Yes. This situation right here is an emergency. Look, my, my boss called me to stay back and just work on a few things. That, that's why I'm coming back at this time. Mona, it's 8 p.m. At what time were you going to go into the kitchen and start cooking? At what time was I going to eat? Anyway, it doesn't matter now. I've taken care of myself already. I'm good. My desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. And all I can imagine is walk on the street. Side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine. A love would be walk on the streets. Side by side. Stanley, Stanley, look, I am so sorry. I am really, really sorry. Please. You could at least brush your hair. You're about to go present a product that's supposed to be a game changer. I'm really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, um, please, um, can you do me a favor, please? If what you're about to ask is that I speak on your behalf, it's not going to happen. Stanley, please, can you just, okay, start the conversation I'm not way. going to do it. Come on, Stanley, please, can you just help me? No! Look at me, I'm... My job here is to watch. To watch you and answer any questions that you may not be able to handle. Let me do my job, you do yours. Matthew, move this car, let's go. all the conversations that we've had. You see, that's the problem. We didn't have a conversation like people in a normal relationship. You simply just told me something you don't want. And what did you say when I told you? Well, at first I said okay because I was getting to know you, but now we're engaged, baby. So the more reason why you should be able to wait until we get married, huh? Well, I can't wait. Why not? Because it feels to me like there's something you're hiding. Go. Wait, why are you listening to yourself? I mean, you have a spare key to my house. I don't monitor how you come and you go. All I'm saying is, I don't want this whole living lover type of relationship. But I want it. I'm yearning for it. Well then, maybe you should be asking me to move into yours rather than forcing yourself into my place. Ah. Jeez. This relationship is so frustrating. The pain 
try to hide the abuse I try to swallow Oh, it eats me up inside My desire is to be happy Reality says otherwise All I can imagine Is walk on the street hey. Side by side with you wakey, wakey. Breakfast in bed Look at that one you and I agreed not to go anywhere today, remember? Yeah, I remember. Because I'm going to spoil you and vampirize you for the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. Yes, dear. You make me feel so fulfilled. And you make me so happy. I love you so much. I love you too. So I made you breakfast. Lovely. Uh, allow me to. You need to select the four companies that we're paying a cold call visit to. I don't need to tell you that they should all be in close proximity so that we can be very effective. Yeah, leave me in the car. Have a quick management meeting. Okay. My desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. Yes, come in. Good day, sir. Stanley, what can I do for you? Um, sir, I know I have made this request before, but I uh, think... Stanley, if, if you're going to talk to me about replacing your word, I think we've done this before. The answer is still no. Sir, Mona seems... She seems what? I have not seen any query report on my table. Send me plenty of that and I promise I'll send her home myself. All I see you do is send reports saying that she's been distracted. Which is not helping us, sir. Then what do you want me to do? Stanley, she's your responsibility. Uh, why, why do you think you're here? You need to drum it into her ears that she needs to sit down and walk or we'll sink. Sir, can I just suggest... Thank you very much, Stanley. That will be all. Which of the four companies did you select? Um, these ones right here. Um, all the four companies' headquarters are here in Lekki. Good. But I have a problem. I don't know anything about the companies. That's why there's something called Google. Stanley. In as much as this personal selling thing is effective, it is also very expensive. I mean, how many companies are we supposed to reach out to to make the kind of impacts we're looking for? Isn't that where we're targeting companies that have lots of branches? Sell to the headquarters, we've sold to the rest. Still, proper advertising with the accurate target message will reach potential and existing customers faster. You realize how expensive advertising is, right? We all know that it is not that expensive. Most of our clients are online. 
Besides, we can also focus on direct marketing, SMS, and email marketing. And we can advise our clients on the proper sales promotions to use. We need to use or create a strong strategy. I never knew you were this sharp. Stanley, I know that I have not been at my best lately. But you know that I am right. Besides, we have to do some PR on the products we are pushing. Because there was a reason they went off the shelves in the first place. We need to use great promotional strategies for it. We need to build a positive and an attractive brand image. And you are in the position to tell our boss the truth. You know, this is why you should come to strategy sessions early. Look at life and make these suggestions to yourself. Mm -hmm. You and I know very well that the reason why we were paired together was because the boss says that I've been doing everything by myself and I seem not to be able to replicate results. All I'm here to do is guide. I'm not supposed to have any opinion. You're meant to give your opinion and I guide you. Simple. Then Stanley, guide my opinion. Please just do that by telling our boss that we need good sales promotional materials like, like uh, um, social media marketing, email marketing, influencer marketing, content or referral marketing. Tell him yourself at the next meeting. You are not listening to me. All I'm here to do is report your performance and the results of your presentations. That's all. I suggest you spend the next few minutes doing some research on the companies we're about to meet. And can I drop off at the next bus stop? I need to get a, a bike, please. Matthew. Park. Look, Stanley, I am so sorry about how badly I did at the presentation. I just have a lot going on with me at home. Matthew. Excuse us. Telling you guys the truth. That your black eye is caused by your allergies? That's the truth? Stanley, look, it's not everything I can say in front of everyone at the office. Do you think they don't know? What is going on with you? Stanley, please, just let me go. Let me just drop off and go. Does your husband beat you? Does your husband hit you? Does your family know? Look, what you're doing is not fair. Does your family know? Look, I know um, my family doesn't know a lot of things going on with me and my mother is very sick so I don't want to bother her. And what about your dad? He's late. Brothers? Uncles, cousins? None. Don't be back home. He's going to kill me. Do not pick that call. The pain I try to hide. The abuse I try to swallow. 
Oh, it eats me up inside. My desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. And all I can imagine is walk on the street, side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine a love would be, walk on the street, side by side with you, breakfast. So you are finally thought of coming back home, huh? Good. Good evening, Mr. Jonathan. Good evening. Who are you? I'm Muna's supervisor. Oh, may I come in? Sure. You can come. Hi, darling. You're not picking my calls. I'm calling you all day. What Actually, that's why I'm here. Oh, okay. The MD delayed us. Made all of us stay back at work. Muna requested that she leave by 6 p.m., but MD refused. And then she yelled at him. What? Her job is at stake, Mr. Jonathan. The company seized her phone, and the only reason why I was able to collect it was because I promised to bring her home and let you know what's going on. Muna might not have a job by tomorrow. Because she insisted she needed to be home before six. Here's phone. Thank you very much. Is there anything I can do to, I mean, ease the situation? Well, you could come to the office and talk to him, but all the employees have been begging him. And I think it's going to be fine. I mean, please just advise her. She can't always leave the office before 6 p.m. There are no jobs out there, you know? I will. I'll do my best, okay? I'll talk to her. I'll do whatever I can. Anyway, I have to leave now. I can't believe you waiting for me. I didn't get your name, sir. Stanley. Nice to meet you, Stanley. Yeah. Good night. The pain I try to hide The abuse I try to swallow Oh, it eats me up inside My desire is to be happy Reality says otherwise And all I can imagine Is walk on the street Side by side with you Breakfast in bed That's all I can imagine A love would be walk on the street Side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine a love will be. What do you think you were doing? Huh? Are you trying to lose your job? And if you do lose your job, how fast will you get another one when we need it? I was trying to get home on time because I did not want to get you upset. Oh, really? I don't think I will be upset if you lose your job. I did not know that the MD would be that angry. Why would he be angry? You are yelling and screaming at him in front of his entire team. In his own office, in front of everyone. I am sorry. Sorry for the damn self. I mean, why, why didn't you think of sending me a text? I, I, I mean, at least I could have told you to stay. Jonathan, you've told me to never send you a text. Well, now I'm the one telling you to always get me informed if your MD says he wants you to do an overtime. Tell me at 5 p.m. sharp, okay? And keep me updated every single time of the way until you leave the office. Okay. And one more thing. When you see your MD on Monday, please assure him how much you need to keep your job. Let him know how important it is to you that you pay your bills. Because I will not be in this house with you and pay all the bills myself. Does that work for you? The pain I try to hide, the abuse I try to swallow. Oh, it eats me up inside. 
My desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. And all I can imagine is. Babe, all I'm saying is that we should have dinner tomorrow evening. Huh? Babe, come on now. Let's not go back and forth on this. Tomorrow is Saturday. Okay, that's fine. Think about it. I'll just. Hello? You're very much aware that this trip of mine is just going to last about four or five days max, right? So you can stop sulking on whatever it is you're doing with your face. But today is my birthday and our anniversary too. Happy birthday and anniversary. I believe the word you're looking for is thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. At least I made you laugh. Hmm? You are something else. <laughs> so much. I love you in so many ways than you can ever understand. You are my everything. Your love makes me whole. You are everything I want. I know this because the past three years of my life has been I love you endlessly. And as you add another year, may you keep shining <laughs> and glowing and shining <laughs> and glowing. you several times. Are you okay? Yes, yes, um, I'm okay. Are you alone? Yes. So, what's going on? Um, having dinner with my girlfriend over there. So, you, so I decided to come over and say hello. Do you want to join us? Oh, no, no, no. Um, actually, today is my birthday and I'd rather spend it alone. Really? Yes. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't know. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday, yeah. You sure you don't want to... Excuse me.
Because Saturday is dinner and yesterday's lunch was really fun, I thought to let you know that I'll be coming here in the mornings and the nights. That is the only way I can trust you. What? We talked about not keeping things from each other. This is me saying my truth. Why don't you trust me? Oh, honey, you are a very handsome man. Really nice and. And what? Have I ever given you a reason not to trust me? No, but I'm not going to wait around until you give me a reason to. Favor, you're a very beautiful woman. But that doesn't make me distrust you. In fact, I expect other men to hit on you. And I just hope that you love me enough to say no to them, right? Of course I say no to them. Exactly. Same here. Fine. But you understand that I have to say my truth, right? Yeah. Look, I have to go now. All right, honey. I'll see you. Have a good day. Thank you. Mm. I love you. Have a nice day. Bye. Before we set out, I should say that we've been working long enough for me to know your birthday. I apologize. It's fine. It's okay. okay. Um, before we leave, I would like to share something with you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, so I wanted to share with you what I came up with while looking at our product. I was thinking what should be the best promotion mix considering the five P's. Okay, and what did you come up with? I think that we need to go back to the drawing board and be clear on some things. I know that our boss chose this marketing channel and he expects us to bring results. And if we will succeed, we will have to tell them how it works. Um... Did I say something wrong? No, no, you didn't. Just what you're doing right now. That's the reason why you were selected. Apparently, MD remembers what you did on the project you worked on six months ago. Did he tell you that? <laughs> yes, he did. That's why he's been condoning your late coming and... Yeah. Uh, 
I didn't know that. What happened six months ago? I mean, and what's changed? <sighs> Jonathan was away. Is he out of town now? Yes, he is. You know what? Let's go see MD right away. Okay. Once we get back from our presentations, we'll sit down and map out a new strategy, okay? Okay. Well, let's go. You're the one who wants to listen to. Okay. This food is so delicious. It must be the hunger. But you also ordered for a takeaway pack, so it means you agree with me. <laughs> it's definitely the hunger. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Una? Thank you for today. You made me proud. No, thank you for encouraging me. I'll just be my job. You want to know what my favorite part of today's meeting was? Um, when they asked us if we could join their marketing team? No. It was when they asked why we were so passionate about the products. And then you stood up, looked them right in your eyes, and you said, the product embodies everything that resilience stands for. <laughs> and just like them, have been down five times and come back up. <laughs> the way the MD's eyes just lit up like this, I knew that we had gotten it. God, I feel so good. <laughs> Goodness, like... You should. I mean, to imagine you did that much research to find out that the company really had been down five times and come back up. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I guess I might as well just let you know now. Okay, what is it? While we were in the car, I texted MD. Okay. And he said that you would be presenting your strategy before the whole team. Yeah, the whole team. Wait, like the whole team you mean everybody? Yes, now. Whole, every, is the same thing? <laughs> Well, are you scared? Not scared, just dazed. Anyways, just get ready tomorrow. You're going to be presenting to everyone at the office. Stanley, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Oh my gosh, so excited. Ah, oh, it's amazing. Then again, though, this food. This food. Yeah. I heard it was really nice. Now, what I said to me, I'm going to take a nice bath, 
and have a glass of wine and then enjoy my food. <laughs> you make me so happy. No, really. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll be fully ready tomorrow. Okay, all right. Take care. Bye. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, God. Um, you're home. Shouldn't I be home? You said you were going to be gone for four to five days. Well, I ran back to you. It, it means a lot to me. Hmm. You were on the phone with someone. Uh, yes, um, that was my colleague. We went out, you know, to a restaurant, just had something to eat. Mm -hmm. I see you came back home with something. Yes, um, it's, it's, it's just some chicken from the restaurant. The food was really good, so oh, I decided to bring home some chicken to use. I see. Work. So you went to the restaurant and that explains why you did not cook. I did not know that you were coming home today. I'm sorry. It's alright. So, did you get the contract? Yes. Wow, congratulations! We should celebrate! I'm not in the mood. My desire is to be happy Reality says otherwise And all I can imagine Is walk on the street Side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can. Hey, honey. You like it, right? Oh, it took me all day. Here. Oh, she's so good. What, honey? Look at it. This is the perfect arrangement of the chairs. The dining table has to be just here, after the stairs, all right? And this chair over here is for your guests that you want to put here, all right? This is the perfect arrangement. And the best part, honey, look at it, of this whole thing <laughs> is this beauty over here. I mean, your guests have to see that you have a beautiful and amazing woman in your life, right? <laughs> I know you like it, right? Because no, I, I don't. What? Wait. Why are you rearranging my place? Because I didn't like the previous arrangements, so I had to make it look better. You rearranged it even after I said several times that I love the way my living room was. Stanley, what I am doing is preparing us. We're going to be living together as a couple. And I'm looking forward to that. But until then, I want the things that I like arranged the way that I want. Wait. So you want our house to be exactly how you like it? No. Our house, when you move in, would have elements of what you love and elements of what I love. Which is exactly what I did right here. Honey, we, we are blending already. Can't you see it? Viva, what's the problem? Honey, I'm trying to let you see that I'm making you the center of my life. But you make it seem like it's a problem. Because you're doing it in a way that seems scary. Scary? Yes. Huh. You're the one always talking about speaking your truth, right? So here's my truth. I asked you to trust me, not to choke me. Maybe always trying to monitor my movements. You're in my house arranging things like, what next? You want me to tattoo your name on my head so that everybody will know that I have a woman? Well, if that's what it takes to prove that you love me, why can't you do it? <sighs> Favor, 
I can't do this. I can't. I'm afraid that if we continue like this, one day I'll look around and I don't recognize myself. Blending takes time. It's a gradual process. So, what exactly are you saying to me right now? I think we should take a break. I just put some time off so that at least we can know that you can trust me without all of this. I can't. What? I can't! Stanley, you don't want me to stay the night? You don't want me to arrange stuff around your house? You don't want me to touch your things? You don't want me to do anything that I want to do for you? All you want is a yes, yes girlfriend, right? And I'm not cut out for that. You know, so many men will kill to have their women all around them. But you, no. You know that's not true. I wish you whatever you're looking for. Come on, Fable, come on, take, put that back. You gave that to me as a gift. I don't care. Yes, it's in your bedroom. Yeah, because that's where I spend most of my time. You gave it to me to enjoy, right? Not to display for others. Whatever. I deserve a man who will appreciate me and everything that I do. Bye, Stan. Okay, Fable, Fable, come on. Fable, don't... It doesn't have... To... At least you can't arrange this place back now. Mona! 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 Yes, yes! Hey, Bill. Um, you're up early. Yeah. I forgot to tell you earlier on. I need you to call in sick. So that at least you can prepare some food. What? What is what? You've done it before. But not on a day like this. Well, what makes today any difference? <sighs> I have to go to work and present a strategy meeting on how all things work with the promotions at work. Since when? Since today. Look, I never knew that my MD valued my opinions, okay? I only found out yesterday, so I cannot afford to disappoint the whole team. Well, you're not actually disappointing them. You're calling in sick. As in, you are ill, okay? But I, but I am not. You know what? I, I, I was hoping this will not become an argument. Babe, please, please. I'm begging you, please. Listen, I really, really need to do this presentation today. Just let me go. I have been up all night preparing for it, let please. Let me ask you, man. That phone call you had last night, does he work with you? Yes. Oh, so he... Is a he? Indeed, huh? Yes. And it was making you happy. I, I heard you say it makes you happy. I don't understand. No, no, but that's exactly the conversation you have. <laughs> I heard you loud and clear. You said it was making you happy. Didn't you say that? <sighs> okay, okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I remember now. I remember. He, he, he was just telling me how good I was during the presentation. Please, he was just appreciating me. Please. You remember now, huh? Please. You do remember now. Please, Jared! Jared! Ah! Ah! Jared, please don't let you go. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, please. Please, What are you doing here? He did this to you. What are you doing here? Is he around? No. What do you want? I got your text in. You said you were ill. Yes. 
Okay, and did you tell the MD what I told you? Yes. Okay, so what did he say? Nothing. What does nothing mean? I don't know. Please, let me take you to the hospital. Listen, I thought was, okay? Just, just leave. What are you doing? I'm busy right now cooking, okay? So just leave. I'll be fine. Listen, I'll be at work tomorrow. I'll be fine. So please, just leave. Muna. Please. Muna. Please leave. I should have known. I should have seen. That all I dreamed of was standing next to me. I should have known. I should have seen. Oh, that's fine. That all I dreamed of. Okay, just let me know when you're back. Come in! Alright, thank you, Charles. I appreciate it. Thank you. Good day, sir. Stanley. Did you see her? Yes, sir. And? There's a problem, sir. The food is ready. Do you want me to serve you your dinner? I'm not hungry. I don't understand. I just said I'm not hungry. But this is the reason why I could not go to work today. You asked me to cook for you. Were you thinking that all these hours I spent outside, I will actually starve myself? Or you don't think that deliciously cooking restaurants out there that I could patronize? I don't chop. I do all right. The pain I try to hide, the abuse I try to swallow, oh it eats me up inside. My desire is to be happy, reality says otherwise, and all I can imagine is walk on the street. Sat by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine a love would be. Walk on the street, sat by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine. Um, he said he's almost here. I called him. He's almost here. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You can always postpone this meeting. No, 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 we should not postpone it. I want to do this. Please. Okay. What time did he say He said he's already entering the street that he'll be here shortly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please, have a seat. Um, is, there, is there anything you want to drink? No. Eat? Nothing? Nothing. Okay. No, 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 I'm, uh, I actually left it in the car, my wallet, yes. L let me get it. Okay, fine, I'll use another number to, to text you, okay? All right, please, can I Yes, it's true. Okay, I'm sending it to you right now. Just send me the address, okay? Just, just give me a minute.
your husband did this to you? Sir, I'm fine, sir. Um, please, do you know where Stanley is? I'm not sure. He brought me here yesterday and he just he disappeared with my phone. Come on now. He said you were helpless. I'm not helpless, sir. It's fine. All right, we can't talk here or do anything here. Let's go to the office. Uh, uh, sorry, S sir. I've been in this since yesterday. I'm not sure how I look. Una, I don't care how you look or what you look or what it is you want, all right? Let's go to the office, now. Stanley had to take out a um, six month salary advance so he can help out a lady in distress. Now, I didn't know who the lady was until I later realized it was you. He didn't know how to you know, get out of his house and bring you here, so he asked me. And I volunteered to bring you down. So that was why I took you to my place first, so he can have plenty of time to fix this place before I brought you here. I think um, Stanley will finish up. Mona, this is your new house. I contacted Lily over Facebook and got her to come home. Sister, I took a plane and I wrote down today's date. It's my first time on the plane. Mune, I should have done something when I sensed that um, something was wrong. Now, your husband is a horrible, horrible, horrible man. I do hope that you don't go back to home. Don't waste this man's six months salary. Or maybe even your life by going back to him. Hmm? Thank you, sir. I'll leave you. Stanley? Sure. Thank you, sir. Um. Mona? Maybe it's time for you to take off that ring. After all, you're not really married to him now, are you? Why would you want everyone to think that you're married when you really aren't? Stanley, please let me just um let me just take a shower and I'll, I'll tell you about everything later. Please. It's fine. I'll be back later. Thank you. Lily's with your phone. My desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. All I can imagine is walk on the street. I'm sorry I told him. Thank you for telling him. 
my desire is to be happy. Reality says otherwise. And all I can imagine is walk on the streets, side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine. A love would be walk on the streets, side by side with you. Breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine. A love would be. Sister, yes. you're going to stop crying. <sighs> but you should. Look, Lily, it's just tears of joy, okay? Oh, okay. Is it still calling you? <sighs> yeah, it is. Are we ever gonna go back there? Yeah. What do you mean by yeah? How you doing, Lily? Very well, thank you. Hey. Hi. Um. So, how long do I have to pay him back? <laughs> what? what? What's funny? I didn't, I didn't do all this for you to pay me back. I mean, but you won't have your salary for six months. I have my savings. So are you saying that you don't want me to pay you back? Muna, I don't want you feeling like you owe me anything. You know, the only memories I have of Jonathan and myself never really happened. I only imagined them. What? Sometimes I would Imagine us having a beautiful dinner, me in a beautiful dress, and him looking handsome in a suit. And we just smile at each other and say beautiful things that we mean. Other times I imagine us lying down or just having breakfast in bed. Sometimes holding hands, taking a stroll. Just sitting there and looking at each other happy and not seeing anything. She's not picking the fire. She's so dead. She's so dead! Hey, hello. Wait, what are you carrying? Something for you. What? I got it with my savings. What do you mean by that, Lily? I want you to be happy. 
No, no. Try it on. I like to wear it looks like on you. No, no, no. You have to take it back. Sister, don't get me upset. I need to try this gown on. And then, not just for you, but also for me. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay, so I'll do your makeup quickly. Then we'll take a selfie together. Then we'll have a dinner date. Okay. Cool. So quickly dress up. Let me go get my makeup stuff. So come okay. Alright. Late to a date night. Come on. I'm not. Yes. You look stunning. You look really handsome. Before we move forward, I'd like to explain why I was wearing the ring. Oh, okay. So, when Jonathan and I started dating, he started off the bat thinking that he was going to lose me. So I kept reassuring him that I wasn't going anywhere. That I was in need for the long haul. And then it led to him not trusting me and to him not being comfortable with me around men. I'm sure you will not understand that. Actually, I do. Very much. <sighs> okay, um... Long story short, one day I just walked into this jewelry store and um, I picked up a ring. I brought it home and wore it right in front of him. And I told him that I was going to be his wife and I'm not going anywhere. He looked at me and smiled and it felt really beautiful at the time, you know, and he, he said he was going to make it happen. Before I knew it, you know, time passed and the proposal didn't happen and the beating started. I didn't want to leave because a lot of people started seeing me as his wife. I just got stuck. Muna, can we? Can we not talk about him? Let's just do something else. Okay. Let's play a game. Okay. It's called Three Things. I tell you three things that come to mind when I look at you and 
You tell me three things that come to your mind when you look at me. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're gorgeous. And you're super smart. And you're so strong. You are handsome, generous, and considerate. The way you're looking at me. I'm glad you noticed. But you never looked at me this way before. Because I didn't know you were available. Like, how dare you? <laughs> Una? Don't let anyone ever treat you that way again. Thank you. Are you leaving? Do you want me to stay? Never you. Do you know when he left? Um, as soon as you fell asleep. Hmm. What's smelling? Are you are you cooking something? What are you cooking? Says otherwise, and all I can imagine is walk on the street side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine. A love would be walk on the street side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's all I can imagine. A love would be. Okay. I should have What is this? Where in God's name have you been? What are you doing here? I've been worried sick about you. I've been searching for you all over the place. 
Your boss suggested that you might be here. What's going on? Jonathan, I am no longer interested in being with you. Say that again. You heard me. Why are you now deaf? Jonathan, I think it's time you leave. Mr. Stanley, or whatever it is you call yourself. This is not an office matter. I strongly advise you keep out of it. Stay back. I see what this is. You're with her now. You are not just a supervisor. So you've managed to steal my woman? I was never your woman. I was more your slave. Mona, are you going to throw three years that we've been together away just like that? How can I ever forget? How do I talk about pain without talking about you? So this is it. Yes. Okay. Right. Wait, actually, you know what? There is something I would like to tell you. Mona, no, I, I... I should have known... Get lost! I should have seen That all I dreamed of Standing next to me, I should have known. I should have seen that all I've dreamed of. Standing next to me, walk on the streets side by side with you. Breakfast in bed, that's all I can imagine. A love will be walk on the streets. Side by side with you, breakfast in bed. That's how I told the guy, I said, Never in your life, you should have no such A love would be. A love When your engagement ring and you're asking me what I'm doing here? Really? What? I need you here. Please let, let me stay out of this. Favor here ended things with me. The only reason she's still with my ring is because I thought she would return it if she wanted to. Hmm. Really? You move on really fast, <laughs> yet you ask me to trust you? Believe it or not, I was faithful to you. I guess we just weren't meant to be. You must really like this one. You were never protective of me like this. Sometimes. Sometimes you meet the one. In cases unexpected, and fall in love very quickly. Burn in hell. It's okay. You witnessed mine and now I've witnessed yours, so I guess we're even. Yeah. Sometimes you meet the one in places unexpected and you fall in love very quickly. 
I meant that. But if, if you need time, I can... I don't need time. <laughs> this, this is the fastest I've ever moved on in my life. Luna, I know what you've been through. And I know the fears that you may have, but if you ever think that I'll be anything like Jonathan, please, banish that thought from your mind. I know you will not be like him. I won't. There will be many dinners, many breakfasts in bed, many holding hands on the streets, many staring into each other's eyes, many laughter. And there will be nothing that remotely resembles pain if that's what you want. I want it very, very much. Says otherwise, and all I can. 